So guys, I found this video that it's quite interesting. It's about this ex-prison director from Romania who was a model for Andrew Tate, speaks out. The news are airing all over Romania. So let's check this out. Let's watch it again together. Mă numesc Ana Tașcău, am fost o perioadă de timp director al penitenciarului Pelendava, am lucrat vreo 22 de ani în sistemul penitenciar. Um, subiectul despre care vreau să vorbesc acum cu voi este Andrew Tate. Uh, de ce fac asta? Pentru că mi se pare foarte nedrept ce se întâmplă. Andrew este un om deosebit, un om care respectă femeile și care tratează pe toată lumea frumos. Am locuit o perioadă de timp în uh, casă cu acest om și vreau să spun că pe mine m-a tratat ca pe o soră și m-a ajutat foarte, foarte mult. După ce m-am pensionat, intenționam să mă apuc de OnlyFans, printr-o cunoștință am ajuns la el. M-am învățat tot ce se poate în momentul în care eu am vrut să plec din București și să continui în Craiova. Nu a fost nicio problemă. So let's read this together. I want to read the... I actually want to read that with you guys. So, I agree, it's all about priorities. Let me know if you need anything. I'm going downtown soon. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Andrew. And I just want to let you know that I really appreciate that you're so understanding about my problems. Maybe one day I will come back. I need to get my life in order. Don't worry. Take your time. In case you need anything, let me know. Or if you change your mind. All right, probably talking about, I suppose, working together. I said that I could collaborate at distance and everything was okay. Nu cred că este genul de bărbat care să aibă nevoie, nu știu, să folosească forța pentru a avea o femeie, <coughs> un bărbat frumos, carismatic, că are tot ce vrei, adică nu ar avea de ce să recurgă la forță. Niciun model din casa aia n-a fost forțat, nimeni nu a forțat pe nimeni. Tot ce se spune în el, eu cred că se datorează faptului că a deranjat foarte mulți oameni influenți prin faptul că este vertical și că a spus fix ce avea el de spus. Nu vreau să intru în teoria conspirației, dar în realitate lucrurile nu sunt așa cum sunt ele prezentate în mass media. So, there is always this thing about Andrew Tate. Unfortunately, there is a lot of videos out there where he talks smack. And of course, that type of talk can get people upset and offend people. But I find interesting that after that Vice documentary interview of this anonymous woman from the UK claiming to be a victim of Tate that she was punched on the arm and that she witnessed Tate doing something to another woman and then that case was closed um, there are more women coming forward I don't think this is the woman that went yesterday on live TV defending Tate being one of those six victims defending him saying that what It's happening, it's built on lies. And then we have another person here which seems to know those people very well and it's coming into their defense. I wonder if this is going to trigger more people because if we worked with so many women in this webcam business, of course there is a bigger chance that other people will come forward for or against. So, so far it seems that there are more people coming forward in his defense. Uh, dar nu este deloc, deloc cinstit și ar trebui să judecăm oamenii după ce îi cunoaștem, nu după ce se spune despre ei. You know, the truth is that there are shady businesses and there are like people which they manage influencers. There's nothing new under the sun, honestly. And despite the fact that Andrew Tate, perhaps he came forward talking really shit, honestly, about the webcam business and sometimes he say things that goes against him i don't know if he's playing a character but definitely that kind of talk doesn't help him when he says like he wants to keep all the money from his women feels like it's playing a lot a lot this character of being the mob just because it gets the attention and gets the reaction of people but might be not what he does actually in real life again having managers in those type of business wh whether Tate exists or not, they're just there. Like webcam studios, they're all over the world. Whether people have a managers or women, they're on their own. They're just making money. It's really absolutely nothing new. All I care is the truth. Is a man being accused of something that he did or something that he did not? So far, we seem to have a lot of people coming to his aid. Let me know what you think, guys, about this. Leave a comment, subscribe. I'll see you later in the next update.